Good morning. So today I'm going to show you how to make motion graphics to put in your slobs video, your live streams using Streamlabs OBS. This is just the one I use and I think it's pretty much the same no matter what one you use. So we're going to go through it. And the idea is here that maybe you want to add like a little subscribe button to come up in the corner or maybe you want to add some overlays whatever and i don't want you to be limited to what's available on the packs online or the ones that you have to buy this is how you can make and export your own ones fairly easy so the first thing we need to do is jump over into adobe premiere and i promise this isn't really that hard so if you just follow along it's really you know it's okay so don't worry too much about it so in adobe premiere all i've done here is i've made a little project with a sequence that matches the video I am streaming. So it's, I think it's 25 frames a second and it's a 1080p sequence. Um, I might have made a 4K one, but regardless, it doesn't matter because we can resize it. So it doesn't matter. So we just need like a nice 1080 or 4K sequence made in Adobe Premiere so that you can add it to the same size as the stream that you are running on YouTube. So. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go across to graphics. Now on Adobe Premiere, there is a bunch of graphics that you can get from Adobe stock, which are, you know, none of them are that nice. There's loads you can get online for free. There's um, websites like Motion Array, which have loads of free motion graphics on it. So check, I'll put the link to that in the description, Motion Array. They've, most of their stuff is paid, but they do have a really good selection of free stuff. Um, but I'm going to use one that I've already downloaded and installed um, and the one I want to use is this neon sign here. So I'm just going to drag that onto my timeline and let's see how it looks. Okay, this is one by uh, Matty Hapuya who's a YouTuber online and his graphics packs are actually really good. So if you do a lot of YouTube, I mean I use them for work now. I use his graphic and I, I use his and I use Peter McKinnon's. I use them both for different clients, but I use them for work and they really stand up well in a professional environment. So we want to edit this so that it says something that makes sense. So we're going to go up here to the edit button and we're going to change some of the settings. So I'm going to make one to remind people to subscribe to my channel because I make loads of useful content and I want people to come back and see the next video. So subscribe, I'm gonna just set this motion graphic up. When you add a motion graphic to your timeline, they all have different settings. And obviously this one is like a neon sign. So it has um, some settings to set up your, your neon sign look. Now I've got like a bit of a teal look going on in my actual video. So I'm gonna make this like an orangey look to contrast that. So let's see what we can do here. We want that. Yeah, okay. That's gonna be orange too. So I'm just gonna quickly edit this so that it looks good. Something like that. Yeah, that'll do for now. This might not be the one that I use in the end, but just so that you can get an example of what I'm trying to do, we're gonna, we're gonna leave it there. Okay, now I'm gonna, I don't want this to show up in the middle of my screen. You might want it to show up in the middle of your screen, but my personal preference is I'd like this to show up down the bottom left. So under effects controls, I'm just gonna edit this. I'm gonna move it around a little bit. I'm gonna pop it down here onto the left hand side here, and I'm actually gonna make it a bit smaller, okay? So now when we run through this, it's, uh, it should just, yeah, it's a graphic, yeah, so it animates onto the screen and it's gonna animate off again. In a second, it's gonna animate off again. Right, now, so what you need to remember about um, Streamlabs is when you add a video on there or a graphic or an asset or whatever, it's gonna play once and it's gonna disappear. What we don't want, we don't want that to happen, so we want it to loop. So when we add it, we've got to remember to loop the track. But if we loop the track and it's just this 10 second video, it's gonna go straight on and straight off and straight on and straight off and etc. And that's not what we want because that's gonna be really distracting for the viewer. So we want it to show up maybe once every minute, 
once every minute and a half, maybe even not as much as that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it a minute of time ahead of blank space, right? Just a, a minute of blank space before it shows up. And then when we loop it, each loop is gonna have that minute of blank space before it shows back up on the screen. That's gonna make it a bigger file, but that's okay because we can handle that. So if we wanna export this whole thing, we need to set our in and our out points to that minute. So I'm at the end of the minute now with my cursor, I'm gonna hit O for out. I'm gonna go all the way back to the start and I'm gonna hit I for in. And that sets the video that I'm creating. I'm then gonna go up to file and I'm gonna hit I'm gonna hit export. I'm just thinking, I'm not sure where my video file is. So I wanna make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna move myself over here and do that again so you can definitely see it. So all I've done is on my timeline, I've moved this up a minute to the minute mark. I've gone to the start, set my in point, and I've gone to the end, and I've set my out point. If I move that over here, it's gonna export that whole four minute thing. We don't want that, we just wanna export one little minute. Okay, I'm gonna to come to the very end of this. Okay, now we're gonna go up to file, and we're gonna to go to export media. Now, it's very important that we get this right. Otherwise, it's gonna export the black background as well. We don't want that, we want it to be transparent. And the way you do that to make it transparent is you're gonna export it under QuickTime. You're gonna come down to the video codec. So format, QuickTime. Video codec needs to be animation. And that's what's gonna give you the transparent background, okay? And then we're gonna render maximum depth and we're gonna select 8 BBC plus alpha, okay? That's how we do it. If you don't do it this way, you're not gonna get the transparent background and you can have a big black box showing up on your stream. So, I'm gonna name this subscribe graphic and I'm gonna export it. Okay, so that seems to have done that fairly quickly. So let's go over to Streamlabs and we're now, we're gonna pop that in. So, I can make myself a bit bigger here because we don't need any of this. I'm gonna add in a new source and the source that we wanna add in is a media source, okay? So I'm gonna hit media source, I'm gonna hit add. Add a new source and I'm gonna call that subscribe graphic nice and easy right easy to remember we're gonna go and look for our file we're gonna hit browse to find our file and we are gonna hit subscribe graphic the one we just made okay we're also gonna hit loop and we're probably gonna need to make this a bit bigger so that it fits in And if we just add it, the speed up to 200%, maybe we can see it. The thing is we've got to wait a minute for it to show up, so don't miss it when it does show up. Um, and these two settings are fine, that's done. But now this should show up every 60 seconds, and obviously you need to wait the minute to see it, but I promise it does show up. So we're just gonna sit and wait. What I can do is I can show you one that doesn't have the minute as well. So I'm gonna add another one in that doesn't have the minute. So we're gonna create one more. I'll call it a subscribe button too. And we're gonna just Choose this guy. Okay, and you can see he's showing up all the time, yeah? <laughs> and that's how you do it. That's how you make your motion graphic. Oh, where is this guy? Why is he not showing up? There he is. Okay, so every minute that's gonna show up for a little bit and then it's gonna disappear again. We're gonna make him a little bit bigger and get him in the right place. 
for the next time. And that's how you do it. It's pretty simple. That's now going to loop every minute and people are going to be reminded to subscribe when they come online and watch your videos. A minute might be too often, depending on how, often, how long your stream is. If you're streaming for an hour, and you're streaming a video game for an hour or two, every minute might be a little bit much. You might want to put it to every five or every 10 minutes. Um, but that's how I'm going to do this because my videos are typically only five or 10 minutes long. Um, at the moment, I'm not really streaming any games. Um, I hope that was helpful. If you need any questions answered on any of the stuff we did in Premiere, do let me know because we can go back and we can do the first part of how to create a sequence and how to do all that good stuff before we go into the actual graphic. Now, obviously, what I don't want you to forget to do today is subscribe, okay? Yeah, we want you to subscribe for sure to this video. I'm gonna put that really big across the screen. So don't forget to subscribe, okay? So I will see you in the next video. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope this was useful. Um, I hope none of it was too fast or too confusing. I can go back and I can make another one about how to make the sequence if you want. Just ask a question. But that is how you make kick-ass graphics for free using Adobe Premiere. No special features, no After Effects. Oof, After Effects is too tricky. But I will see you in the next one. Thank you for tuning in and watching. Goodbye.